which is so lucky that I got a room with a view that makes it so much better. You have no idea. I um, got my central line. So it's like three, it has three ports and um, that went well. I'm feeling a little groggy. Um, not feeling as sad and feeling super lucky and optimistic that I get to have at least two weeks with this amazing view. And, um, you know, it's a pretty, pretty big room. And uh, Orion's gonna bring up my stuff but so I can make it feel a little more cozy and mine and have my stuff. And so this is the beginning and I'll take you on my journey with me. Here is my darling husband who can't see me, but he's waving to me. And he just brought me up some trash magazines and hair gel. And he is such an amazing human being. And I so wish he could be up here. If I was him, I would have a really hard time. I'd be tortured that he was up here alone and I couldn't see him. So he waved, I told him where I was, but he can't see through my glass window. So this is as close as he gets to come to me. He just dropped off stuff and I love him so much. And I'm so lucky to have such a, an amazing husband. Yeah, I'm gonna have probably a, a couple, well, interruptions when I video. And I remember this, cancer sucks. That was from last time as well. Um, I also have my pictures right next to my bedside so I can look at my family at all times. And um, that's about it for right now. <laughs> Feeling okay. Tomorrow's my stem cells. So thank you everyone for all the texts and all the love. And I mean, there's, I am so lucky. I could not do this without the love and the texts and the messages and the prayers and the, just everything, everything. Um, yeah. And I have had some fun Marco Polos today. So keep them coming. Okay. Sending my love to everyone who watches this because that's all we need is love. That was so cheesy, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm giving an update. I told Orion he has to bring product because I can't look like I have a toupee up here. Um, so now to part. Whoa. I chew ice for half an hour and then I get chemo and this will help me not to get mucositis or mouth sores in my mouth because I've frozen all the cells in my mouth. Hopefully the chemo will not hurt them or kill them. Uh, so I need to hurry and eat ice for 30 minutes. Uh, my central line started bleeding normal. Mm. So I had to put a weighted bag on it. Mm. And lastly, my COVID test got sent for the wrong test on Friday or some anyway. So I had to do another COVID test number four today in order to do chemo. So luckily it turned around really fast, was negative. And I will be getting my chemo in a half an hour. And, um, and I premedicated with Dex, so psh, I'm going to be up forever, sitting in my window, looking at the gorgeous view, and I don't know, I'm going to crack out at the hospital. I brought a lot of fun stuff to do, so maybe I'll do puzzles or, I don't know. Anyway, there's my update. I totally knocked out for two hours, so I was asleep. Oh, it felt really good. I was so tired. So, positive vibes here. Okay, positive vibes. I'm officially set up. I had a little nap today, but I want to get this before the sun goes down. I still have my beautiful view. Maggie made this cute little hanging for me. Of course, it's beach theme. Um, Orion brought me some magazines today. I've got my, oh, what's it called? Minky blanket. 
got stuff to, uh, you know, work on a laptop and stuff. I got puzzles, and I'm really excited about these were healing stones and rocks and things that reminded me of things from last time with some additions of some healing quartz, and I take my vitamin C. Thank you, Heather. I've got my little Zen garden with my fun little stamps for my Zen garden. Isn't that so cute and therapeutic? Love it. Um, I have this that I can change and add Maggie's things because um, I love it. I also love the coast of France. Yeah, so that's always beautiful to look at. I've got my peace, wisdom, love, happiness, courage, and tranquility. Um, you know, just something good to look at. Outlander. Uh, I will pause. Oh, let's um, start where I left off. I can't remember if I showed you this, but you know, my strength, my woman who watches over me, my ocean, cute cards for my nieces and nephews. Um, this is like my coloring and journaling and letters box. This is my great grandmother's blanket so that I can have the strength of the Wallace women. My Nana being one of them with her little, this was her elephant from India and her travels. So this is super special to me. I'm always thinking about Paris and the beach and any kind of colorful travel I've been through. These are bracelets that I was given to last time I went through cancer. So in an abalone shell to give me strength. I've got cute books that were given to me by um, people as well last time and this time and more fun family pictures um, so this is me making it the best and most personal room I can and um, yeah and I get to have a little pasta for dinner because I'll probably want to stop eating soon and another beautiful view so I'm heading to bed. It's about 10.15. I feel tired. Um, I took a bunch of medication. Most of it's what I take, but I feel super sleepy, so I'm hoping that's good. Even with Bex on. So, I got a big dose of chemo. Um, I feel... The biggest symptom I have is nausea, which has helped because I, I took a second nausea pill. Like I feel like I'm on something. I got up to go to the bathroom and I felt like wobbly. So I'm gonna try to sleep. So one day down, one day down. And I don't know, probably 15, 16 left. Um, so this is my post from Huntsman. Good night.